here with your March stash acquisition video. This is a video of the roundup of what I have acquired in the fiber world over the last month. And I do this video not only to show you some of my acquisitions or stash acquisitions as I, as I call them, but also to let you know that I have a Patreon account. So I could barrage you with join my Patreon, join my Patreon every single video, but I choose not to do that and just mention it once a month or so because that is how I am able to provide you with content. I receive a paycheck every month from my very generous patrons. I have a little less than 600 patrons right now. The number has definitely gone down over the past year because of coronavirus, which I completely understand, but I have been able to stay afloat as many of you have found creative ways to do so as well. And I do spend all of my working hours on Christy Glass Knits, and so I am always very grateful to receive this paycheck at the end of the month. I've been able to save up quite a bit of money over the past year since we are now one year in the pandemic. And I am so looking forward to be able to using those funds to travel and make more exciting content for you. I have my eyes on places across the pond and I would really, really love for borders to open and travel to be safe again so that I can bring you some content elsewhere. I do take my Patreon check and save it on a line in my account. So it is just sitting there and it does grow every month and I am really looking forward to getting back into action and bringing you more exciting content. Because of very generous fiber artists out there, this past year has been a great year on Christy Glass Knits. Once I was able to embrace the Zoom format and we were all really accepting of that as acceptable forms of entertainment, it's been a wonderful year. I've met so many incredible fiber artists and I have really enjoyed all of the conversations that I've had with them. And again, I thank you patrons for supporting me. If you would like to support my channel, if you find yourself here over and over again, looking at content or entertainment, education, whatever the case may be, please consider becoming one of my patrons. There are several different levels from $1 all the way up to $22. Patreon does not allow me to do giveaways through their site, so I do them here on YouTube, and this month is the Nidorati, which is the $11 level. I will be giving away about five prizes today, so make sure you check your email because I will message you if you are a winner. You do not have to enter or do anything, you'll just receive a message from me. If I don't hear back from you with your address, then I will probably save the prize for another month. In fact, a few people did not respond last month, and I still have their prizes, so I will pick new winners for those prizes. Let's get started with what I have acquired this past month. I'm really looking forward to showing you. First of all, we have Knit Swag. Have you heard of Knit Swag? This is a special mug that was designed specifically for me by Kelly of Knit Swag. She sent me this mug and I believe the inspiration was this an incredible sweatshirt that I have from Farm Rio that has these colors and bananas on it. So she designed this just for me. She's also very passionate about graph paper for knitters because when we just use traditional graph paper it has the boxes on it and she has developed this knitters graph paper so you can actually see the grid and the knit stitches so they are v-shaped just like knit stitches are and this really really helps when designing because you can actually see what it's going to look like here's some that's up and down If you look at the front cover of this knit paper, you can see that she makes all kinds of graphic design knit inspired items, cards and iPhone cases and notebooks, all with the knitting as the inspiration for the design. She's offering a coupon code today and you can find that underneath this video. It will say knit swag and there will be a link to her shop as well as the coupon code. It's 15% off between now March 30th and April 10th. I recently purchased this bag and I am so excited to show it to you. Yarn and Whiskey is the vendor and she will be vending at Knit and Escape, which is April 7th through 10th, 2021. It's happening so soon and I'm so looking forward to it. She has these incredible bags and she's also doing a demo all about the prints that she uses. So this bag is such a cool technology. It's full of yarn right now, but maybe you can see the way she sews it right here. This flattens to a totally flat piece of work. So I think she calls it the pop-up. Let's see. It doesn't say here, but yarn and whiskey will be vending and knit and escape. 
Remember, when you purchase your $10 Marketplace ticket, you get access to all of the vending sessions, all of the free demos, and there is a special promo code page, which honestly the $10 pays for itself just with the promo code page, but then you have three days of events to look forward to and to participate in virtually. And so I am really looking forward to you vending at Yarn and Whiskey. She also threw in a few goodies for me. One is this mask, complete with the bendy part, which I really appreciate in a mask. And there's also a pocket in here, so you could probably add even more protection if you wanted a third layer of fabric. And also her pin, yarn and whiskey. Staying on the topic of knit and escape, we are going to have some new kits dropping next week on April 6th, which you do not have to attend our event to partake in. One is a set of hipster shawl kits by Emma's Yarn, and also some S-Jan kits also by Emma's Yarn, and I will have more on that coming up soon. Right now in the shop, you can find kits for the Friendship Train by Moondrake Yarns, Pattern by me. I've made three already and I'm getting ready to cast on my fourth. I'm obsessed with this pattern. You can find palette cardigan kits, which are by Sadness Garn, and there are three colorways for that. You can find a half pie shawl kit that corresponds with the Paula Pereira class on designing your own half pie shawl without any math. And you can find two different kits for Curiouser and Curiouser. There are three or four colorways by Emma's Yarn, and I think three or four from Toad Hollow. Curiouser and Curiouser is a beautiful cowl by Tannis, and she is teaching a color work class as well. So you can get the kit for the class or just get it if you want. We also have the Powder Wrap kit, and I got mine as a stash acquisition this past month. The Powder Wrap is by Casa Pinka, and this kit is called the Sharon and Louise, named after her kitty and my puppy and it's so beautiful. This is worsted weight wool, and hopefully you've had a chance to see my video on the 15 different patterns that you can make with this wool, of course, including the powder wrap by Casa Pinka, but there are nine other knitting patterns and five crochet patterns suggested for this kit. There are four different colorways. This is the brightest and the boldest because of the pinks involved, but we have been selling a lot of these kits and I think you'll really enjoy this as a quick worsted weight shawl project. One more stash position to mention that corresponds with Knit and Escape. Another vendor we're having there is CG CG Yarns and you've seen them here on my channel before with their items. Renee did a whole Zoom with me and she sent me a little birthday packet because my birthday is April 8th and our event is April 7th through 10th and the theme is Unbirthday Tea Party. So come and celebrate your birthday with us Renee of CGCG, she sent me this darling happy birthday project bag. Look at the bow on the front. So she is a sewist and she makes all kinds of bags and she also makes cake cuffs. So these cake cuffs are what you put around your cake of wool, especially when you pull from the center and your cakes get a little bit messy. So this is a set of birthday cake cuffs that she made and sent to me. You've probably seen these on my stash acquisitions before, but she's always coming up with really creative, fun fabrics. I love the peeps. Stop. Stop with the peeps. So they will be vending and they also dye yarn and I'm so excited to show you this birthday yarn that they made for me. So this is called, this is Sport Weight CG CG Yarns and it says Happy Birthday Christy and it's called Glass Quisition. <laughs> That is so good. So this is called Glassquisition and it is so epic. And I have a feeling they will be having this yarn available at their vending sesh during Knit and Escape. And guess what else they sent you guys? I am obsessed. So I can't wear, I have pierced ears, but I cannot wear pierced earrings. And so they sent me clip-on earrings of their palm, palm earrings and it's with the Glassquisition colorway, right? This is the Glassquisition colorway. Okay, let me put them on right now. Can I do this without a mirror? It's actually easier to put on clip-on earrings without a mirror than it is to do pierced. Okay, let's check this out. Now my outfit is complete. <laughs> what a party. I love City Girl, Country Girl yarns. CG, CG, get it? Gorgeous. So this will be a vending session not to be missed. Oh, also in here, this says to Louise. <laughs> Love Jack's ginger and moose. So this must be a little something she can wear on her harness. <laughs> 
That is so adorable. I love it. Okay, I thought that was the last knit and escape mentioned, but I lied. So I have this Clinton Hill cashmere that I acquired this past month. This is their bespoke DK, and it's in their very vibrant colors. This is the purple. And I just want to let you know one skein of this DK makes the cutest beret. She also sent me pink, and I made this gorgeous pink beret with it, and it is such a treat to have in your hand and on your body. And Clinton Hill Cashmere is one of our cashmere sponsors for Knit and Escape, and she'll be doing a vending session and also a demo on how to care for your cashmere. So I'm really looking forward to having Becky back. We have a video coming up where she's rolling out a new take on the Sophia cowl, so it will be really fun to see that this upcoming week. At our PJ party for Knit and Escape, we had traveling yarn. And so I purchased some yarn in support of her and to, and to thank her for being part of our event. This is less traveled yarn, and this is the worsted weight. So this is Arrowroot from the Outspoken Collection, and this is Albergine from the Definition Collection. I think these look awesome together, so I'm thinking about some sort of color work, something or other, but I also think there's enough yarn in each skein to probably just make a hat or just keep it in my worsted weight collection. This would actually pair really well with the Sharon and Louise kit too. So maybe I'll add one more section to a project when I cast that on. But I love how vibrant this is and I was really drawn to these two colors from Less Traveled Yarn. There was a sale on Cloudborn fibers. So I purchased some Highland DK in pear and also in raspberry because there's so many DK weight sweaters I have in my queue. And so I just got sweaters quantities of both so that when I have that feeling of wanting to just cast on a DK weight sweater, I will have a sweaters quantity in my stash. It was really good value. I think these were only like maybe even less than $5 a skein. So this is a new stash acquisition. I have a sweaters quantity of each. There's going to be more about Little Fern Fibers coming up on my channel this next month. I actually have three videos that are going to talk about it. So I'll have an interview with the owner of Little Fern Fibers and then also a haul and this is included in the haul so I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of this and then I also have knit with my yarn already except for this skein so I got five skeins from Little Fern and what Little Fern does is you send her your fiber scraps whether it is just the ends that you snip after you've done a project or any kind of wool so I sent her a bunch of roving because I had a lot left over from when I had needle felted a unicorn on my sweater. I sent her some silk bits that I think you're supposed to knit from, but I never quite knew how to use it, so I sent her that. And then, of course, my clipped ends from when I've woven it ends on projects. And she sent it back as skeins of art yarn. So I got five skeins, and there will be a lot more about her on my channel because I'm so fascinated by her business. But this is just a sneak peek of one of the skeins that she made. And I have this incredible collection of hand spun yarn now and I put it all in one project and that video will be coming up soon. I cannot wait to show you what I made. The ladies from Modern Daily Knitting sent me their latest book. This is called Lopi and it's the Modern Daily Knitting Field Guide number 17, featuring designs by Mary Jane Mucklestone. I had a chance to talk to her at one of the recent Vogue Knitting Lives. I haven't had her on my channel officially, but she's such a lovely woman. She's actually working for Vogue now, I believe, as one of the, I don't think she's, um, I think she's one of the editors over there. So this is a pattern book all about Lopi, which is one of our favorite topics. And I wanted to share that with you. And also what came with it was this little tidbits, volume one, number one. And it's a little pamphlet that just literally has little tidbits. So there's a dishcloth pattern, there's a shortbread recipe, and then a mention of some field guides and on the back, a word search. So I think that's really sweet little addition to their books. Also Pearl Soho sent me this needle gauge and it's like, I guess it's a needle gauge ruler because it has inches and centimeters and then all of the needle holes in here and it's gold. And that was a thank you that they sent me for mentioning them in a video this past month. And I thought that was so nice. And like, this is really heavy duty and I'm loving it. So I had to share that. 
Lastly, I got the brand new yarn from the Gray Sheep Co., formerly known as The Little Gray Sheep. And we have a video coming up on my channel that you're going to love. I just want to visit their farm so much. This is their Gotland Erin, and I've made a very fun finished object out of this that you'll see on Easter Sunday. It's coming out. So this is gorgeous Gotland Erin. It's lustrous and so strong and soft. It has so many qualities. It's a very diverse piece of wool. She also sent along some of her Stein Fine, which is their very own breed. It's merino mixed with Gotland, and it makes lustrous soft merino. So this is a pair of DK weights in their Stein Fine wool. And so this is part of the giveaway today. We're gonna go right into the giveaway. So some of you lucky Knitterati members will be receiving one of these giveaways. So this is the Gray Sheep Company. They ship worldwide even though they are in the UK. This color is called, I don't see what color it is. But you can see on their website the colors, and I've ordered from their website and been very happy with the results. My throwback sweater's body is in this wool. From the CG CG Girls, I don't wanna I don't wanna open this, but it's a caked up DK weight fun fetty wool. I think I need to open it because I want you to see how beautiful it is. This is one of their knit and escape exclusives, and it's so good. I have to show it to you. It's so good. Do you see that? It is so speckly and gorgeous. So you're gonna have such a great time in the CGCG vending session because this is so epic. Look, look at how it comes in this little stove box. <laughs> so adorable. Then I want to show you, these are from Sammy Sew Creations and I've shown these on my, my channel before, but Sammy Sews Creations partners with her mother and her sister and they are woolen women fibers and they're also vending and knit and escape. And so what they have in common is they, they'll make the stitch markers, the bag and the yarn all to theme. So this is a gnome and an Easter egg. And I know that they work by theme and they are going to be on my channel coming up in, in an interview and they're twin sisters and they're so creative and I just can't believe she can make these gorgeous clay pieces. They're so intricate and how she paints them. I don't know. They're so tiny and amazing. So this is part of the giveaway. So the gnome is going to go with this bar of soap that I purchased at this bunny muff soap knitted and I got this at DTLA. So, there's soap in there and this little knitted soap cozy. So this is one of the giveaways together. And then this Easter egg is gonna go with Grapevine by Clurindraud, it's DK weight. So have a little something to add to your spring knitting collection. And then we have Time Weaver, these semi-precious stone stitch markers, Agate and Watermelon Tourmaline, with this atmosphere from Yarn Cafe Creations. That is the last giveaway. That's my stash positions for this month. Thank you for hanging in there with me for so long. I really enjoy sharing with you and I love the community that we have built here. Thank you for supporting me here on Christy Glass Knits. Thank you for being my patrons. For those of you who have been my patrons for so long or just joining, I do try to provide you with some coupon codes and discounts and early access and we also do some Zoom knitting here and there and it is so great to commune with you and thank you so much for supporting Knit and Escape as well. Our tickets are still on sale up to the very last day. You can join in on the last day, April 10th. So we will see you over there. There are incredible classes, demos, vendors, all of those things and we have a great time. I will see you next time here on Christy Glass Knits. Bye.